All right, welcome, Mike Simmons here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a logo into the WordPress 2013 theme, which is the default WordPress theme at the time I'm making this video. WordPress 2013 theme is, like all the other default themes of WordPress, is very highly customizable. You can do quite a bit to it, but like all the other default themes too, there is no option to add a logo. So I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all, we're going to install a nice little plugin that I found, and then we have to change a little bit of code, but don't worry, beginners or anybody, it's really simple, and you're not going to mess anything up anyway, because the first rule that I have for this is that you have a child theme, which is also very simple to make. In fact, I'll post an annotation with the link you can click on that will go to my child theme video, so you can make a child theme before you start doing any customizations. Okay, before starting, have a child theme made, and also, of course, you uh, need to have a logo if you're going to try to insert it in there, and your logo should be a transparent PNG. So let's get started getting making our inserting our logo into our 2013 theme. So the first thing we're going to do, all right, it says right here, we're going to log into our cPanel account, which if you don't know how to get there, that would be your domain name dot whatever forward slash c panel and it's also uh, called your con the control panel it'll be in your link from hostgator if you signed up for hostgator hosting so let's go to our c panel account i've already logged into mine once you're logged into your c panel account scroll down until you find file manager and we're going to click on this tab right here now you'll probably just cl double click on wp content I'm going to open up my 2013 subdomain which I'm using for my test site right here. So I'm going to go double click on that first. Then I'm going to dub find WP content and double click on that to open it up. And then we'll find the themes folder, double click on that. That'll list all the available themes you have installed. I have the 2012, 2013, then I have a child theme folder right here for the 2013. Now I just called my, my child theme 2013-child, so I'm going to use that when we copy our header PHP file, which we need to open up the 2013 file first. And we'll scroll down until we find header.php. Then we're going to right click on that and click on copy. And here is the path we're copying to. WP Content Themes 2013, we're just going to add a dash and child, and that will copy the header PHP from the 2013 theme into the 2013 child theme. So click Copy, go up one level, double click on 2013 child, and there we go, we have the header PHP file. Okay, first step is done. Now we're going to go to our WP Admin log in, log in to our dashboard of our WordPress installation and install the theme logo plugin. So we're in our dashboard and under plugins click on add new. And then do a search for theme if I can spell it, there it is, I have, I'm just going to use that right there. Theme logo. Click search plugins and let's take a look at the details real quick. Now I found this plugin a while back and I actually tested it out and it worked fine, but it hadn't been updated for a couple of years, so I was kind of hesitant about recommending it. But it was just updated four weeks ago, so now I'm up recommending it. It works just fine, even though it says it hasn't been tested with WordPress 3.7.1. Let's click on install now and we'll activate. Okay, we've got that part taken care of. Step three, change the code in the header PHP file. First of all, I'm going to hover over appearance and I'm going to right click on this and open up in a new tab, the editor tab. That's under appearance and then editor. Right here, it opens up your whatever uh, theme you're using. We have the 2013 child theme activated. It opens up the style.css file. We don't want that one. We want the header.php file opened up, so let's click on this link right here. Okay, we've got that opened up. We're going to go back to the other tab I have opened up, and then under Appearance, you'll click on Theme Logo. That's a new tab that has been activated since you installed the Theme Logo plugin. So let's click on that. Okay, how to use. Go into your header file and replace your current logo image with 
this code right here. Make sure you highlight the less than all the way to the greater than sign right there. I'll right click and copy. I'll go to my other tab that I have the header.php file opened up. And like I said, don't worry a bit about if you make a mistake and mess up because this is your child theme. So you, you can make all the mistakes you want to and it's not going, going to mess anything up. You can just start all over again without having to you know go to all the trouble of reinstalling WordPress and all that. Let's scroll down in the header.php. It's kind of right down here where you say body and this stuff and then header ID masthead. And right here it says rel equals home. Right below that it'll show you this code right here, h1 class, and then all that, and then h2 class all the way down over here to the end. Now we're going to right click and paste in that other code that we have from the theme logo file. And there we go right here, it's pasted in now, replace that other code. Now we'll just click update file. Okay, we've got that taken care of. Change the code, upload the logo. So what we are going to do now, I'm going to hover over media and then click on add new. I'm actually going to upload a couple different logos that I have for the test purposes, a couple different sizes. Okay, what you want to do is just click on edit once it's uploaded. That'll open up a new screen. It'll show you what you uploaded. And over on the right, it'll show you file URL. We want to double click to highlight all that then right click and copy. Then we're going back to our theme logo page which of course is under appearance and then theme logo and right up here logo location you have to kind of get rid of that default first so get rid of that first and then paste in your file URL for your logo image I'm going to click on save changes copy logo image paste into logo location save changes okay now let's go back to our site and reload the tab and there we go there we have our logo uploaded now the size for that logo that I have right here is I believe the small logo is 500 by 145. I'm going to also show you the other one 999 by 183. Let me try that one now. Let's see here. There we go. That's the second one I uploaded. I'm going to click on edit again. Opens up that screen. I'm going to click copy in there. Copy the file URL. Go to the theme logo tab page and paste that one in there. I'm going to click Save Changes, go back to our site and reload the tab. Now see this is nine, about 1000 by 180, 185, 183, what did I say, 999 by 183. So there's a lot of different things you can do right off the bat. If you have your logo here, say you you can put a different background image, you can change the default images, that it, it comes with three different default uh, header images. We'll hover over appearance and go to header. You can actually just, uh, let's see here, you can upload your own image, header image. It has to be 1600 by 230. You can also just remove your header image and just have your logo in there if you'd like, if you want a minimalistic type theme. We'll save changes. So you can have some sort of logo in there instead just have a white background for your for your site. You can do a lot of different customizations if you like. You can all right, well, this that's my video on uploading your logo to the 2013 theme. I'm also making a video about how, how to do the same thing to the 2012 theme. You can look for that in one of my channels. And if you did like this video, found it helpful, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and a favorite, too, if you can. And subscribe to my channel because I'm always uploading new videos as I find the time. And as always, keep on keeping on.